the next question that God asked is, who told you? Now, when God asked Adam, where are you? The response of Adam was, I found myself to be naked. He said, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked. And I hid myself. And then God asked, who told thee? Adam said, I was naked. And God went on to ask, who told thee that you are naked? Listen to me. What you are saying currently about your life, who told you? Do you know that sometimes we don't say things with our mouth, but we say it in our mind? Who told you that you are naked? Who told you you are a failure? Who told you you are not good enough? Who told you that you are barren? Who told you you are sick? Who told you you are ugly? Where did you get that information from? Who told you you have no hope again? Who told you you can't pass that exam? Who told you that something is wrong with you? Where did you get that information? You see, the moment God heard Adam talk, God knew that Adam had been listening to a strange voice. You see, the voice you listen to will never leave you the same. The voice you listen to consistently will never leave you the same. I think it's 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 10. It said, there are many voices it may be. And every voice is not without a significance. Every voice you are listening to is playing a significant role in your life. Who told you? Who told you something is wrong with you? Who told you you are late? Who told you there's a problem with your life? Who told you? Where did you get that information? Who told you you are too tall? Who told you you are too short? Do you know some people hate themselves today because they feel they are too fat? And some also hate themselves because they think they are too thin. I've said it too morosely before. When you see people like me, this is the correct shape. This is the correct size. I don't know about you, but this is the correct size. You know how I know? Every film of Jesus I have watched, we have the same stature. Praise the Lord. And listen to me, for that man that is fat, that woman that is fat, the Bible says he created us in his image and in his likeness. So, if you are created in his image and you are fat, it means that is how God looks like. If you are short, that is how God looks like. If you are tall, that's how God looks like. That's why he's God. But what I'm asking you, that thing that is disturbing you, that information you have accepted, who told you? I've told you before, don't laugh. Listen, for many years growing up, I didn't like myself. You know why? I didn't like myself. Because people will always ask me, are you a Ghanaian? And one day, I decided to fast and pray about it. When I rounded up the fasting and prayer the third day, I'm, you see how the devil can mess up people's life. Can you imagine me fasting and praying because I didn't like myself? The day I ended the fasting and prayer, I decided to go buy bread. I think I was living somewhere at the back of this hakpake here then. And so I came out. In fact, I came out. I was walking like an angel that God had worked on me. And I went to buy bread. And as I wanted to buy the bread, the woman asked me, he said, sorry, are you a Ghanaian? I just ended. And then I asked, why are you asking? He said, because your head looks like a Ghanaian. It's the same head that is preaching to you. Guess what? When I met my wife and we started a relationship and one day I asked, I said, now, what did you, what, what even attracts you to me? He said two things. He said, number one, when you come to preach the way you preach heavily, I said, that's number one. I said, number two, he said, your head. The same head that Satan was talking to me about that made me hate myself. Who told you what you have come to believe about your life that is affecting you? Somebody will look at you and say, you are too dark. Who told you you are too dark? Do you know that is the reason why some people are bleaching today and they are bleaching their life out? The scripture says, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Why do you hate yourself? Listen to me everything you believe about you today and believe about your future something told you and hear me if you don't know how 
God speaks, the devil will mess you up. God does not speak anything that is not good. Can you give me God's word? God's word. Isaiah 45, 19. God's word. God's word Bible. Is God blessing someone? God asked Adam, who told you you are naked? Told you. Because somebody has a printing machine and printed your result and the result was not good enough and then you now accepted that you are a failure in life. It's not true. I've told you before. Success in school does not translate success in life. There are those that succeeded in school. They didn't succeed in life. Because there are those that succeeded in school and they are still succeeding in life. There are those that fail in school. But today in life, even the ones that succeeded in school, they are working for them. Told you it's over. He said, I, I have not spoken in the secret. God is saying, I have not spoken in the secret. In the dark place of the heart. I said not. I said not. You see, there are things you are hearing. And God is saying, I am not the one saying it. I'm not the one saying it. It doesn't matter who said it. If God is not the one that said it, don't believe it. He said, let God be true. And all men be liars. Romans chapter 3 verse 4. Let God be true. I don't care who is talking. This man you are looking at this morning, preaching to you, a lot of people predicted my failure. But here I am. In fact, a lot of anointed people that I respect, I know they have anointing. I know they carry grace. They predicted my failure. But today, they are celebrating my success. Who told you? 